Okay, so a demonstration of Ramadjik transferring a PC disk image to a BBC computer. There's a standard BBC 32K computer, twin disk drives, one three and a half inch, one five and a quarter. The BBC's got a 1770 disk interface. The 1770 is necessary for, for Ramadjik to work. We've also got in this case, just an ordinary laptop, could be a desktop with a built-in floppy, in this case it's a USB floppy, it doesn't matter what sort of drive it is, what sort of computer it is, as long as it will do FAT12 floppies. So we start with the, what I call the Ramagic Transfer Disk, it's just uh, MS-DOS Windows 720K floppy on a double density disk. Uh, formatted under Windows, no special tools. Put that in the drive. It's currently, let's see, it's currently blank. On um, in here, I've got some games, so I'll just pick uh, 3D Bomali.ssd. Drag that across onto drive A. Just standard Windows file copying nothing clever and that's it. So we just have the one file on the disk, that's also important, only one file at a time. Take the disk out into the drive turn the beam on there we go, you can see the beam, it's got time and date across the top which is another Ramagic function. If I do star help you'll see down the bottom Ramagic 2.0 B if I do a star help magic, that's the magic command set. Okay, destination disk. In this case, it's a five and a quarter. Could be another three and a half. Doesn't matter. This disk is formatted. Disk is formatted to um, 80 track. Doesn't really matter if I do a star dot. See, it's a blank 80 track disk. Um, doesn't matter if it's 40 track, whatever. As long as the image fits onto the disk, then that's fine. So, type star dos dfs and the number of the source drive. In this case, my final quarter is zero, my three and a half is drive 1, so star dos dfs1, press enter, and it says processing 3D bomb, you get a little bit of drive flicking to and fro, and when it's finished it'll come back with uh, an OK prompt if all's gone well, there we go, OK. Now it's created 3D bomb alley as a genuine uh, DFS disk, so since it's in drive zero, all I need to do is shift break, and there you go. Press space bar. And that's it. It's that simple. It takes a bit longer if it would if that had been a double-sided games this would have taken up to a maximum of just over three minutes but most single games this take about 10 seconds so it's quite quick okay the one other feature uh, ROMs take the disk out again pop it into the drive and since your disk always got to be blank with one file on it I'll delete 3D Bomb Alley, delete. I've also got on here, just for as an example, but I haven't got WordWise in the computer, so here's WordWise image, grab that, drag it across. So I've got WordWise 1.20.rom on the floppy, take it out, pop it into the drive, which is um, drive one, we'll just break, reset the computer, and command now, so do star drive one, because that's where my 
my disc is and for destination for ROM files as long as there's room on the disc it'll just create a ROM image file on the destination disc so again star DOS DFS 1 this time it's saying processing word wise and it says it's a ROM so it's now creating a ROM image on the destination disk OK so switch back star drive 0 back to the file and quarter do a directory and in addition to the 3D bomb alley stuff we've now got uh, word wise word y uh, ROM image now because ROM magic's kind of you can also use it for uh, for, for sideways ROMs or sideways RAM we've got a command in here I'll type star mrom and word y ask me if it's okay to erase any existing uh, image that might be stored so I just say yes now it says installing ROM takes a few seconds not long 10 seconds for an 8K, perhaps 20 seconds for a 16K. Now it says to complete sideways ROM installation, set switch to ROM and press break. So I'm back here, I've got my switch, flip that to ROM, press break, do a star help. It now shows wordwise down the bottom, so if we do star w dot, and there's wordwise. Now, because it's non-volatile memory in Romagic, if I now turn the computer off, this could be for years, but turn it back on, do a star help again, and there's WordWise still there, and that, that'll stay there until you erase it again. And that's pretty much demonstration of the PC to BBC transfer system.